Welcome to this Higher Mind Yoga meditation. On this meditation, we will focus on Dr. Francis Regarde as he recites the Golden Dawn's lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram. You can choose to act out all the forms that go along with the meditation. If your abilities of visualization are strong, you may either sit or lie down and use that ability to go through the meditation. Thank you for listening. Higher Mind Yoga. Dot com. And without further ado, Dr. Francis Israel Regarde and the Golden Dawn's Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram. The Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram. This ritual includes the Kabbalistic cross, both at the beginning and the end. The Kabbalistic Cross. Imagine yourself beginning to grow taller and taller. You are as big as the house, still growing and growing, bigger and bigger. The earth is getting smaller. Your head is now above the clouds, towering among the stars. The earth, a small revolving ball beneath your feet. Far out in the universe, you see a brilliant, scintillating white light. Imagine and visualize this brilliant light descending to form a sphere of light just above your head. Raise your right hand slightly above your forehead. With it, bring the ball of light down and touch your forehead, vibrating the word Ato. Ato, which means thou art. The hand is now brought straight down to the region of the solar plexus, and with it descends a great shaft of pure white light encompassing your now enormous astral body. As the shaft of light descends to the feet, vibrate the word Malkuth. Malkuth, meaning the kingdom. Visualize and feel this brilliant ray or shaft of pure light which has descended from above and encompasses your tremendous astral body. Touch the right shoulder. With this tap, a sphere of light is formed just off the right shoulder. In tone of the word, the Gabura, 
which means and the power. Move your right hand across your body and imagine that from this right sphere of light extends a beam of scintillating light penetrating the chest and continuing through and just beyond the left shoulder. At this time, the left shoulder is tapped and another sphere of light is formed while you vibrate the word the gadula. The gadula. Which means and the glory. In this manner is formed the cross of light. Now clasp your hands in a praying position on your chest, with both arms and elbows raised to be encompassed in the horizontal beam of light. Vibrate the final word, Le'olam. Le'olam. Amen. Meaning forever. Amen. Face the east. For the ceremonial instrument, you may use a stick of incense, a ritual dagger, or the pointed index finger of your right hand. Inscribe in the air before you a large banishing pentagram. That means with your ritual instrument in your right hand, start at the lower left-hand point of the pentagram, opposite and outside your left hip. The hand is moved to the uppermost point of the pentagram, which is pictured in front of and just above your forehead. Continue tracing downwards, to outside and opposite the right hip. Now move upwards diagonally to outside and opposite the left shoulder. Horizontally across your body to a point even with and outside your right shoulder. and complete the pentagram by moving down to the starting point opposite your left hip. As your hand moves, visualize a beautiful blue flame which follows the point of the dagger as it inscribes the five-pointed star. When the pentagram has been completely traced, thrust the point of the dagger to the center of the pentagram, vibrating the deity name. yad hey vav hey Imagining that your voice carries forward to the end of the universe. With dagger still extended, turn in place or circumambulate to your right, to the south, and make a banishing pentagram, that is, starting from the lower left and moving to the 
Out to Sands, huh? And with the central thrust of the dagger, vibrate the deity name. Adonai. Each pentagram remains a flame and is connected with the continuous circle being traced by the extended dagger. Turn or move to the west. With arm and dagger extended, make the same type of pentagram as before. As you once again score the dagger in the center of the star, vibrate the god name. Now turn to the north. Dagger still extended. Make the same type of pentagram. And upon completion, thrust the dagger in the center of the star and vibrate the deity name. Agala. With arm and dagger still pointed, return to the east. Complete your circle of flame by bringing the point of your dagger to the center of the first pentagram. Pause a moment. Imagine, and above all realize, you are standing in a flaming circle with beautiful fiery pentagrams in each quadrant. Facing the east, with arms outstretched in the form of a cross, say and vibrate before me, Ra. Fael. Behind me, Gabriel. At my right hand, me At my left hand, oh. Before me flames the pentagram, and in the column stands the six-rayed star. Follow the above pentagram ritual once again using the Kabbalistic cross, as before. Imagine yourself beginning to grow taller. The earth is getting smaller. A small, revolving ball beneath your feet. Far out in the universe, you see a brilliant, scintillating white light. Visualize this brilliant light descending to form a sphere of light just above your head.
Raise your right hand slightly above your forehead. Bring the ball of light down and touch your forehead, vibrating the word Otto. Otto, which means thou art. The hand is now brought straight down to the region of the solar plexus. As the shaft of light descends to the feet, vibrate the word Malkuth. Malkuth. Meaning the kingdom. Visualize this brilliant shaft of pure light from above and touch the right shoulder. A sphere of light is formed just off the right shoulder in tone of the word Vagabura. Vagabura, which means and the power. Move your right hand across your body. At this time, the left shoulder is tapped, and another sphere of light is formed while you vibrate the word the gadula. The gadula, which means and the glory. In this manner is formed the cross of light. Now clasp your hands with both arms and elbows raised. Vibrate the final word, Laolam. Laolam. Amen, meaning forever. Amen. The Lesser Banishing Ritual of the Pentagram Otto Malkuth Vagabura Vagadula Laolam Amen. Yada hey, Vava hey. Adonai Before me, Raphael. Behind me, 
Gabriel, at my right hand, me at my left hand, oh, we. Before me flames the pentagram, in the column stands the six-rayed star. Arto. Oh, 